we live a monastic life. Music is just a huge part of our life. We probably spend about three hours a day chanting the Divine Office. We've been described as an ascetic community. We're very much caught up in pursuing God as, as beauty and goodness and truth. We're also a very hands-on community in that if there's anything that we can do on our own, we do. The graphics, the artwork, the photography, the music arrangements, of course, and then also even some of the Latin translations the sisters themselves will do. It's a beautiful way to share our life without compromising too much of it. With this new CD, which is called Angels and Saints at Ephesus, people will find an album similar in many ways to Advent and Ephesus. It's all of us singing together, again, a cappella, no instruments accompanying us. The title Angels and Saints at Ephesus comes from the fact that we are giving tribute to all the angels and saints. We wanted to do something to honor them. They are such wonderful intercessors for us, wonderful helpers, helping us get to heaven. And many saints have written wonderful prayers, wonderful prose, poetry, and it's often set to music. And they're some of our favorite hymns that we sing after Mass. My favorite track on the seat is probably Duo Seraphim. It's a very energetic piece. It's one we learned for the investiture of three novices. There is a beautiful piece for double choir in honor of St. Cecilia. We've taken a piece whose words were written by St. Francis Xavier. We tried to get a, a, a good variety of saints. We have St. Joseph in there and Our Lady, of course, the preeminent saint. We've had a wonderful time, wonderful experience recording with a fine producer from Germany. He's given us some wonderful pointers, some wonderful tips, and it's all gone very smoothly. First of all, I was surprised how well they sang. I was already convinced that at least the quality of their singing um, was high, so I would also enjoy myself musically. It had never occurred to me that there might be Benedictine nuns in the middle of the United States. I always think nuns and monks have to live in cold, old buildings in Northern Europe. It's a very beautiful building, it's very quiet and calm, and the people are very friendly. The main feeling of listening to them is basically the belief in the thoughts that are being expressed in the text, and a familiarity and a love of the style of the music. Many people say, you sound like angels. If we do sound like angels, then the angels helped us. <laughs> and we're convinced actually that they do, that they, that they come in and sing with us because you take 22 women and throw them together. You get a huge variety of voices and sounds and somehow it all works out. And we attribute it very much to the angels. I said before, we're not professionals. We, we don't spend our days practicing for our next record. We just live a simple life, aura et labora, work and pray, and thanks be to God that He can choose weak instruments like us to do that, His work. <laughs>